um, after the crazy thing that I needed to re make a report of something that happened today that was, um, you know, like could get could could become trouble. Oh no! Like like what do you mean trouble? Like like God? No, <laughs> I'm a realtor, mom. I don't know, the crazy world today, everybody's getting killed, I don't know. And I'm walking the subway. Did you hear the a woman was um, lightning in Palace? She and her dogs killed. Lightning strike. Lady. That's just a, a nice lady walking her dogs. Yeah, it sounds crazy. Um, but I don't know what it has to do with anything. Um, so, uh, before you hear it from anyone else, and I, I don't want to... I don't want to like get like a call like about you know uh, of condolences. Oh, and, and you, uh, it's really hard perception. I can barely hear you. I can barely. How about now? Take... I'm going through uh, a weird area. Oh shit! Because because every word is like I can barely hear. Okay. Um, a time that you could call. No, I don't have time tonight. Okay. Yeah. No, I needed to call you before. Is what I was trying to tell you. That's why. Um, so I said I'd call you later. You know, today. But yeah. Not in the evening. But anyway. Um, okay. So that's what I did. You were gone for like two hours. Uh, uh, but I, before you hear it from anyone else, and I don't want condolences, uh, but my my one of my bearded dragons died. Oh. We had to oh, put her yeah. down at uh, at the vet. She was she was very 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 sick. God, well they're very fragile, aren't they? Not not normally. Um, I mean, no, not normally. Like they do require um, they do require certain things, but so long as they have those needs, they can live as long as a cat. You know. Oh, really? Um, okay. Wow. But, I'm so sorry, son. Yeah, she was a really, really sweet little girl, um, dragon, and she, uh, like we, we were really falling in love with her every day. She was really sweet. <sighs> um, so oh. we, had, we had to put her down. It was like she was suffering. Um, she had eaten a toxic flower in my backyard. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, um, no. And we didn't oh. really notice it was a problem until she pooped it out. And then, she, like, her health declined super fast after that. Yeah. When did this all happen? I put her down yesterday morning. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Yeah, um, I know I know how attached you are, and I, I, my heart is breaking for you. I just, I'm I sorry. Love, how I love long did animals. you have her? Uh, just a, since, I think she was born in February of 2021, and I think we bought her in April. Oh, okay. Maybe something like that. No, maybe May. Oh wow! 20, Relatively 21. new. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. only she was only a year and like four months old. Um, so, uh, sucked. Um, but uh, and then I also had some like I lost a really 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 important um, uh, transaction um, over like some uh, just some really greedy people. Um, uh -huh. And it it may it, you know it it was something that could fuck up some you know big money I had coming to me I might not be able to make now because of the seller's situation they only have so much time to purchase a house and if they can't then they can't afford the new interest rate um, so it could have it could have screwed me out of a lot of money the other day and I did oh, a lot no. a lot of work for this job like so much work. Uh. And, uh, and right, I just lost a two hundred thousand dollar job. Oh, so what you were telling me about it, forever? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been on it for a year and a half. Yeah. He fired me. He let me go yesterday, and uh, said he needed to make a change because I wasn't delivering the stars that he needed. I, you know, I can't make an actor say yes. I got it. And all these famous people, they all turned it down. The only one that said yes is Kiefer Sutherland. So anyway, it's a, it, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna get money out of them. I'm not gonna walk away for for a year and a half's work. I'm gonna get something. Yeah. I'm not gonna get my 200 grand, but I understand what you're feeling, and it's You'd horrifying. Better. You'd better. Um, yeah. No, I definitely. I don't. I have nothing, you know, to lose. 
uh, and, yeah. and he has everything. Dad said, if I wanted to be a bastard, I'm a teamster. I could shut down the production and say he he owes me money. I don't have a written contract though, but I did send my uh, my quotes and my my what I wanted for the show into the producer, so they have that, and I have years of work, years of work. So wow. you know, it it could go into a big ugly thing. If you don't have a contract, no. I don't have a contract. I trust. You know what? I'm still one of these idiots that trust. I think if William Friedkin is a bad enough director, it's not going to screw me. <laughs> oh, well. anyway. William so, yes, Friedkin is, the, is what? what? What did he say? My phone dropped. William Friedkin is what? Of He was the director. Oh. He's an Academy Award winning director. Yeah. I did 12 Angry Men with him. Uh. You know, and so we have a relationship. He, he, was, he was really nice about it he just said you know i i need to get this cast and you're not getting it cast i said i'm doing everything humanly possible and brian cranston passed about an hour and a half ago uh uh robert downey's not available i mean those are the kind of names that i was trying to get you know jesus so yeah well you know robert downey's not iron man anymore so you should be no, able to no, get him. No, no, but he's him. got a new series. Yeah, he's no, doing I'm, a series I'm, I'm, right just, I'm just, I'm just, pr- like playing devil's advocate yeah. <laughs> uh, for this. Um, but Brian Cranston, I mean, that guy gets like twenty offers a day. He does, but you know what? <laughs> I know him, and he's a good guy. He actually, I, I sent the offer on Monday. He read it and turned me down today. I, I waited seven weeks for Lee F. Schreiber to give me an answer, and he never responded. He yeah. just didn't blow us off. I mean, that's what's going on. I don't blame Billy Freakin really frustrated. I mean, this is a, a Pulitzer Prize winning piece of art that everybody, and he's an Academy Award winning director. Plus, Guillermo del Toro is going to be on set with this project. So I had two directors who won Academy Awards, and I couldn't get a cast. So I, I understand he wants to try to get somebody who can get it as God wish him well. I'm not upset. I just want to get some money out of it. I won't get my 200 grand, but I'm going to get something. Okay. It'll help us. It'll keep us surviving for a little bit. Yeah. I just I, I want to make sure that if, if you're okay with Jaden, I'm going to buy yeah. a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I I told you that sounds fine. Now we'll be fine with it. She loves Jaden. Um, uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't had a chance to tell her in person or over the phone or anything yet, but especially because okay. she was just, she had just lost her phone for like an, the last hour and a half. Oh no. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, um, so yeah, I, I've been having a pretty shitty week, uh, but, uh, it sounds oh, like you've been having a shitty week as well. Um, <laughs> and so I, I, I assume, think it runs in the family. Yeah, so I assume, um, you, uh, wanted to talk to me about the, the, the bomb you dropped on me uh, this morning. Well, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I don't want to do this. And if, I, if this job had happened, I could have survived for the next five years and kept it out. By then, we would have owned it outright. Right. But, but so that's why I was truly, my, my goal was, I know Saving you the house. Self, yeah. And, and not having a mortgage. And even if we didn't live in it, it would be a $5,000 a month income. So there were a lot of pluses to it. And if once I sell it, it's never, I'm never coming back, you know. So so I realize now that I have to have some money coming in. I'll see what I get out of this this uh, de- dead project that I'm no longer a part of. Well, um, and, and, you know. I, I think I told you a little bit over text. And, yeah. Um, but... What is going to happen to real estate values when, yeah, yeah, when one of the, the, the most valuable resource known to man uh, does not exist in, yeah. in the state of uh, or the lower parts of California? What is that yeah. house going to be worth when you cannot shower, when you cannot drink water, you have to import water from like yeah. the Great Lakes? You know, yeah. what is it going to be worth? It, like, you're saying you're going to be able to get $5,000 a month rent from that house when that when that happens? I don't think so. Well, the, that's what I'm getting now. 
<laughs> yeah, you're getting it now, but it's going to be worth less and less he, and less. He, wants, Every he si wants to stay. I mean, the, the one thing about the great thing is that Valerie is a phenomenal tenant. He pays three months in advance. That is why you he should never, offer her an REC. What's an REC? A real estate contract so that she becomes the legal owner of the house and oh. she is responsible. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want it. But if she, she wants to stay want forever, then she why would she waste her money? No, she, listen, let me tell you. She, she's play, she's there for now because of her job. Her daughter and son moved to San Diego. Yeah. They want her to come to San Diego. So ultimately she will move. But but in the interim, she loves being in the house. She likes the neighborhood. She likes everything about the house. Well, if, it you, have like our house a, if you have a real estate contract on a house, if you are the legal owner of that house on a real estate contract, you can still sell it. It's not like yeah. you can't sell it, you know? You can yeah. sell it to another person. I know. I'm just not like, I think, God, I paid 50% of the mortgage already. It's all 50%. There's almost done i was like so proud that this is i've done this i, I have good credit my credit rating is like 840 uh every, I, I have no credit card debt the only debt i have is a two hundred and eighty seven thousand dollar mortgage yeah. period so i was doing really well no, and i thought this I, job I this job was like an answer to my prayers i get it but um but the thing is that you're not taking into account is that there's something that I know that I don't think you're taking seriously enough. There is a major change going to happen in, in the next five years. Did you know that Nevada is making it illegal in the next five years to own a lawn? Yeah, yeah. The entire state of yeah. Nevada. Yeah, yeah. This is like a gun yeah. state, you know? This is like a constitutional rights state, and they're going right. to make it illegal to have a lawn because what the about water new mexico what about all the fires in new mexico exactly every, every, it's yeah. getting worse and worse and worse yes. every year but the, yep. but this is a separate and partially the fires are, are partially caused by the fact that there's no water there's no water right. to, right. to in the right. ground if the ground water which is very important resource here in the desert groundwater that's that's something that comes from runoff from snow from snowpacks, but we no longer have snowpacks, so there's no groundwater, and so you, so the people who live on wells can no longer get their water. They need, they now need to import their water, and soon that same water, which the next tier up, is coming from uh, rivers and lakes. And well, if you okay. look at the condition, so you're basically telling me I should sell the house because it's going to be dry. There's going to be no water. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. And and I wish you listened to me months ago because as of a week ago when the interest rate was below uh, uh, five and a half percent, you could have gotten probably an extra two hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. No, I no, I'm I'm not I'm not saying it's a it's a matter of opinion. That is a fact. Yeah. That is a fact of understanding my industry. I, I look I, I I know you know a lot more than I but I look at the houses that are going for a million four in our neighborhood they're all completely turnkey redone but it doesn't matter house, you do you not understand house, the, the market is about, so yeah. the market is so competitive right now people will pay anything for anything right now okay so uh, the the deal that I was telling you that was very important that I that I made that deal happen, uh, uh, mm -hmm. that we submitted on Friday, and I was certain we were going to get list price on this house, four hundred ten thousand dollars, four hundred ten. Mm -hmm. My buyers offered four hundred sixty-five. I told them no worries, no worries at all. This house will totally appraise. This house is way undervalued for this neighborhood. And what happened? And uh, then the listing agent called me the next morning to say that she she is so overwhelmed because she's been getting inundated with with offers and she's uh she, she said she thought she priced it well um and the seller said that she didn't want to sell above th uh, uh, 410 because she didn't want to be greedy she just wanted to get out of the house and uh, and then move like wherever the she the hell she's moving or whatever oh, and then like she gets 
tens, dozens of offers. Um, and uh, and they're all like $50,000 over list price. Now she's yeah. like, oh shit, now I want four sixty-five. And then so her, um, her friend who is a realtor, now get this, her friend who is a realtor, in the the, right. buy, the seller's friend who is a realtor in Chicago, she forgot that she had a realtor who was a friend in Chicago, and so she tells the listing agent who she already had a uh, negotiated contractual terms with that she says uh -huh. to the listing agent, "I want you to cut in my friend who is a realtor in Chicago who I've known since I was uh, in uh, in my teenage years." And so, and I want you to give her a commission, a piece of the commission. And uh, the listing agent oh, no. said, okay, you know, she had like, she's either going to do that or, I mean, like she could sue because she does have a, a, a binding yeah. agreement and she got all right. of these offers. She could sue right. for the entire commission if she really wanted to, but does she yeah, want that on her that. Repu yeah. reputation? Yeah. You know, exactly. and she sues exactly. her clients. Yeah. Fuck! I would sue my client, but anyway, I that kind of that kind that kind of reminded me of the whole situation with my sister, you know, for obvious reasons. But uh -huh. because she ended up doing it and uh, and giving away part of her commission, even though she had no contractual obligation to honor that, and um, right. and she already had a negotiated deal, you know, in writing, right. and so. Right. Um, so, but she did it. And then, uh, then all of a sudden, like the realtor in Chicago wants to get involved and then tells the, the, the seller, even though our offer, she, the, the, the listing agent told me that our offer was the best. It was the best one. And she oh, liked no. the people that we were the most. She loved, they, they said, we love Japanese people. We love them. Our neighbors are Japanese and we love them. You know, we, we just okay. love Japanese okay. people. And then she okay. said we were going to get the offer. And then like the realtor in Chicago got involved somehow and then starts telling the, uh, the seller, listen, you need to counter everybody, everybody and say what you want them to do. And so she said that she mm -hmm. wants a, a higher, a, a more money. Well, first we offered four sixty, not four sixty five. So we were way above list price, forty five thousand dollars over list price. Right. And right. then she said she wanted four sixty five, and then she said that she wanted to occupy the property for more than is legally allowable. Uh, otherwise, it's a um, a violation of mortgage fraud. Oh, you can only live in a house for like up to I think it's like. 90 days or something then you have to be uh -huh. out she was out or no no it wasn't i think it's 60 days like a seller can continue to occupy so wait, wait. the property I, I, I know you gotta go but i just want to know so is your thing dead is it is it going to happen or is no it dead? no because she ended up getting an offer while everyone was like going back and forth back and forth we even like uh, offered all of these like oh. occupancy agreements and i said we are willing to allow the seller to stay for as long as legally allowable by the lender so your client your client got fucked basically yeah and then they then they end up getting an offer of four hundred and ninety thousand dollars that's like 20 oh, percent over the list price in, in my buyers, we're better buyers than anyone else. Here's why. They had locked their interest rate uh, like two months ago. Wow. And so they have a, they, they are okay, already wait, underwritten. Wait, right. All right. So that was gone. There are other houses. You still have the buyer, right? Yeah, but we need to be able to close within like like six weeks. Otherwise, we don't get their interest rate and they can no longer close. Okay. Because they will so not get, buy if they get button. screwed. Get your button here. You yeah, can do I it. am. Get your button no, here. Yeah, no, yeah. but this is aside from the point. This I was just explaining to you. Yeah. Like this is the yeah. psychosis of this market. It is psychotic with a capital P. The same thing in Big Bear. It's incredible. They're going. Some are a hundred thousand dollars over asking. Uh, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Big Bear is ridiculous. Yeah. And my, my brokers are are kicking it. They're Killing it. Yeah. They're making so much money. So, but it's freaking, yeah. So, but I wish you would have just listened to me because I know so much, you know, about this shit. 
Um, but like, I get frustrated well, when. Why do you think I call you? Yeah, I'm calling you, but but I, you but never use you my know, my advice, and it's it I'm, makes I'm me nuts. Listening. Yeah, I'm listening, but I want you to know that this is not a choice that I want to make. I understand. I want you to be I've clear understood that the entire that. time, and there is a reason why my madness is that way. If I could own the house outright, we'd own two outright properties, one in New York and yeah. one in L.A. We could stay in Big Bear if we wanted, but rent out Sherman Oaks free and clear. That was my plan, so that I have $3 million worth of property. Yeah, you know, it, that's not a bad idea. But 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 yeah. the reality was, because, I, because what's going to happen to the real estate market in Southern California after it floods and people are not able to get water from the real from uh, the Colorado River anymore right it's not going to be worth dick yeah okay okay well i have to you know figure out now here's the question is dublin going to sell our house yes he would love to sell your house tomorrow okay. but like he's right. saying but that i'm he... going to leave it up to you i i tell him i, I want to talk to him and, and let him know my feelings because i I'm really having a hard time with this. I I prayed that this job happened I know, so that I, I wouldn't it. have to deal yeah, with this. Okay, you know? I, I understand your reasoning better now. Um, okay. okay. But I was I was angry when you said that to me. Honestly, like um, like I wanted to request power of attorney for from you from you. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Um, okay. I listen. I'm an old lady from Trenton, New Jersey. I grew up in three rooms. I slept in a bed with my mother. No, so I, I never it. had a bed of my own. I've heard the only this reason story I got to times. sleep with my mother is because my father was taken to the nut house when I was a kid. So mm -hmm. at least I had a side of a bed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a lot of things in me from my childhood that I still have trauma from. All of us do. We carry these things with us forever. And that house to me met my stability met my security. I loved that little house. It needed tons of work. It wasn't perfect, but it was mine. You know, my house. When I had to move out of it the first time, I cried and cried and I cried. I remember, yeah. I helped to you know, move all the furniture out. Yeah, I know. So, you know, it's not an easy call. It's like, it's not just a house. It's more than that to me. And and the fact that it, I, I hear about all the you know, the horrible flooding and the, and the drought and all that. I hear that part. Yeah. But the part for me, aside from that issue, is that we would be debt free. Yeah. Debt free. Yeah. No, we wouldn't have to pay rent. Yeah, you still we have to pay taxes. Debt -free. The only thing we'd have to pay are taxes. Yeah, taxes. And everybody has to pay taxes. Um, you know? So, but here's the thing. So, I am in the next coming months. I haven't uh, applied for my loan yet, although I am now a member of the U.S. Uh, Navy Federal Credit Union, as hilarious yeah. as that sounds. Um, <laughs> and I can get 100% well, financing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm already ready to be shot in the outer space, yeah. like a space monkey. <laughs> like, um, and, uh, and so um, I... Uh, I, I plan in the next coming months to start seriously shopping for a house. Um, it might it might very well end up being in upstate New York. Um, and so, Why there? Well, because I want to have a house, maybe several houses if it works out great, that I, and I hope it does. And so I have this great business idea that I'm, I'm uh, in the works okay. of, of playing with right now. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and I've got like help from some uh, computer graphics, website builders and stuff. I have this great idea for a business. Um, but anyway, uh, and, and I think it could take off. Um, but uh, so I, uh, well, I'm New going, York is pretty beautiful, you yeah, know, I'm telling you. I am I, going I to buy upstate. a Where minimum. Judy is, yes. Rhinebeck, right. Rhinebeck, oh my God. Well, I'm going to buy um, at minimum one property for myself along the Great Lakes. I don't know which state it's going to be in. There is one that, that now and I really like, and it was reduced by some crazy amount the day after the interest rate went, went up. It was reduced by like $30,000. I think it's still on the market. And it's in New York on a river, a beautiful river with like a hot tub below it. 
And so what's going on is what I will do. So because I need to be able to declare this as a primary residence to be able to get that loan. So I have to live right. in that property for a, at minimum one year, at which time Two years. One Two year, years. one year, really? one oh, year, okay. and then I can move out. I can rent it if I want. And so, right. um, uh, so if, uh, if that happens, I will rent to you this property at cost. In upstate New York? Yeah, or wherever it's going to be. It might be in Minnesota. It might be in Wisconsin. It might be Michigan. It might why be would Gary. I wanna, why wait, would I shut up. Or Gary, places. Indiana. Right. It, I'm buying a house on the Great Lakes, but there is a part of Lake Ontario um, that uh, that is along a large part of New York State. Rochester. Um, uh, what what else oh, is that? Um, no, you don't want to live in Rochester, Brian. It's you would. It's horrible. I'm telling you, yeah. you better ask me about places in New York. But anyway, but but listen, anyway. I got I got to make a phone call before the end of oh shit. I got to I got to hang up because I got to do this, you know, thing on the, anyway. The, the place that meeting. I was talking about, it would be literally on a river in the in a very yeah. very very small community. That's okay. where I'm looking. I'm only looking for river pr front properties. Okay, that I got. I gotta call you. Can we talk tomorrow? This uh, I'll I'll listen to more tomorrow, no. and I'm available tomorrow. I just gotta I gotta do two things. Okay, uh, on a on a little project here. So if I don't do it. I'm gonna be fucked on my on another project. So I yeah. gotta do it. Well, if, I, I love. Do you, you want me to have I, Dublin call you? Yeah, he can call me. Okay, yeah. then yeah. Call, talk to Dublin and talk to me after. Okay, I will. I promise. I love you. Right, me Bye. Too.